Hello everyone, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel and I have a very exciting package to unbox today. It is an Esterbrook box. This one was, I'll tell a little bit about the story. This came out and it was not on my wish list originally. So I put it on my list and said I'd wait the seven days. In that seven days, it fell off my list because I'm like, no, I don't really need it. And then maybe a week after that, I thought, no, I it's still appealing to me i still want it and then i kept checking the stock of this and then thinking there's so much left in stock i'm gonna leave it for a while and then suddenly i got an email from estabrook saying actually we're low on stock we don't have a lot and then i checked on how many extra fine nibs were left and there were only two so i said oh i guess i'm getting it now <laughs> so after that 50 second story i now have this so this came with these two stickers, which are going to go in my ink journal. So you have the Estabrook steel pens and then the nib, which I love. And then let's go ahead and open this. So yes, it is the lilac with gold trim. And I've already seen videos, other unboxings of this. And I kept telling myself, I don't need it. I don't need a purple SD. I don't need any more SDs. And then there was just a couple of pictures that just took my breath away and I thought, ah, damn. Oh, <laughs> and there it is. What takes my breath away about this is the different resin, like the resin is the cracked ice resin in this and the different shades of purple, and then you've got the clear, and then even actually the converter inside. So there's something inside here that makes it look like it's a shade of pink when mixed with that purple. So it's all together, it's got beautiful depths, and it's not just one shade of purple. Like even if you spin it around like this, there's so many different shades of purple and the white and the light reflecting off it, it is stunning. So this is the Esterbrook SD in lilac and I got this with an extra fine nib. Absolutely stunning and I'm gonna thank Connie of Coco Plans for her 10% off code to get 10% off of this. So if you're not familiar with Esterbrook or if this is the first time you are on my channel, they come in these beautiful boxes, these clamshell boxes, and I ruined this here, but it's actually a really, really well-built box. There's nothing under here. You've got that cushion, but you also have this little envelope that has a QR code that you scan for, it says activate your pen, but it really is for the warranty. And then it also comes with a little cartridge, but I don't do that, but I really do love this box. I do keep most, if not all of my pen boxes but I just, I love the feel of this box. It's just so well made. And then you've got the pen here. So the pen itself, you've got the gold clip, the gold Estabrook, and then it's this beautiful cigar shape. And then you've got the gold plated Yovo number no. six steel nib. And I like that it says they're established. Gosh, I can't see now, 1858. I'm getting to that point with my eyesight where I have to hold things far away to read small print. Isn't that bad? And then it also comes with the standard international converter with Estabrook written on here. So I am so, so happy with this. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I jumped on this. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to compare this to other pens in my collection. I have done a review on Estes before, but if this is your first time on my channel, I just want to show you the comparison in terms of size to other pens in my collection. So there is the Estabrook SD Lilac, and I just want to show you all the SDs currently in my collection. So we first have the Nouveau Bleu, which was the first SD that I ever received. This was one in a giveaway from Estabrook. And then we have, what was the next one I purchased? It was, the I believe it was the Rainforest. Again, that one I purchased off of Reddit. So it was um, the second 
owner of this and I've had the fine nib ground into a cursive smooth italic by Jack Hernandez and it is such a pleasure to write with. And then I got the Petrified Forest and this one has an extra fine nib, which I hope to one day get ground down into a cursive smooth italic because my, I have tiny writing and I love getting that line variation. And then I have here the honeycomb and this has a needle point nib on that and I love writing with that one. That one is ground by Kirk Spear of Penrealm and it's just such a pleasure to write with. Ooh, and I forgot to say this one originally came with a fine nib but my secret Santa in December sent me a nib adapter and you can actually put vintage Esterbrook nibs on this. So that whole adapter actually has the mechanism or the threads to be able to screw into the body of an Estherbrook SD. It does come with its own converter to fit into that. And now I have the ability to, I guess, look for vintage Estherbrook pens so I can get the nibs and put them onto my current Estherbrook SDs. So that is currently my whole Estherbrook collection. And I'm gonna say that's not even all of it yet spoiler for something coming in the future. All right, so let's go ahead and compare these two other pens. First pen I'm gonna compare it to here is the Narwhal or Navalor Nautilus. Then we have the Pelican M800. Comparing it to the Lamy 2000, the Pilot Vanishing Point, and the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. So you can see in terms of length, it is very similar in length to the Narwhal or the Navalor, well, Nautilus or the Tromso, the Voyager Tromso, and then the Pelican M800 is a little bit shorter than the SD. Lamy 2000 is about the same length as the Pelican M800, so shorter than that SD. Oh my gosh, is that a crack? No, that's the crack in the resin, gosh. Oh. And got worried there for a sec. And then you've got the Pilot Vanishing Point, and then the smallest in the group is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. So let's see all of these uncapped. So there are all of the pens uncapped. And once uncapped, you can definitely see that the Narwhal is longer than the SD. And now actually the Pelican M800 is the same length as the Estherbrook SD. And so is the Lamy 2000, but maybe it's like about a hair shorter. And then in terms of if you wanted to just look at the size of the Pilot Vanishing Point when it is pushed down. It is actually longer in body than all of these uncapped. And then you've got the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, which is the smallest. Now with the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, if you are posting it, which I normally do post, it ends up being longer than all of these. Now you could certainly post, you could try post the Estherbrook SD, but because it has that push cap system inside the cap, so that helps to prevent the ink from drying out. So actually here, look at this. So when I'm uncapping this, you see that it's pushed out. That is that mechanism inside. So that mechanism inside might actually prevent you from being able to post it properly. So I don't actually write with that posted. I write with it unposted and I prefer it that way. So those are the size comparisons. So in terms of measurements, the Estherbrook SD's body, the diameter of the body is 13.3 millimeters. The diameter of the cap without the clip is 15.2 millimeters. And that clip actually is quite a good clip if that's what you're interested in. And then the diameter of the grip, which is one of the most important pieces of information for me, the diameter of the grip is about 10.8 millimeters. And what I like about the grip section of the Estherbrook SD is that the threads are not sharp at all. So when I rest my fingers there to write, it's very, very comfortable. For me, out of all of my pens, this is one of the most comfortable, if not the most comfortable, out of all of the pens in my collection, which is why I am so drawn to it. And then in terms of the length of the body, you've got 127 millimeters or five inches. The length of the cap is 70 millimeters. And then the length of the nib itself is 22.8 millimeters. So if you like a longer pen, you can see here that in my hand, it's actually not that long, but it fits very, very comfortably in my hand. And 
for those who do like to post their pens and have a bigger hand this may not necessarily be the size for you but they do also have SD in the oversize which is a slightly bigger pen the weight of the pen the body itself is 15 grams and the weight of the cap is 9 grams so this is actually a good weighted pen for me I find this very comfortable to write with for long writing sessions and it's just such a great great writer so now I'm going to fill it with ink or dip test it with an ink and then go ahead and do a writing sample. I'm going to go ahead and dip test the pen in Robert Oster and Desk Bandit the Great Owl. This was actually an ink sample sent to me by Jane of JP Pen and Ink and I think it's just a great purple to test this ink in. So I'm just dipping. I'm not filling the pen because there's actually something else I want to ink this up with, but I thought I would just test it for now with this ink. So that's the little caveat here is that because I am dip testing, the flow might be different once you've actually put the ink in the converter. So here we have the oof, Estabrook. SD in lilac and it has a number six Yovo steel extra fine nib and Yovo nibs are very dependable and what I love about them is that they are swappable between a lot of pens that I currently own so I am always happy to get a Yovo nib and I know some people say you're just paying that much money for a Yovo nib holder well that's actually why I feel comfortable with spending that amount of money on an SD is because if something does happen to this nib I have other pens or other nibs that I can put in here the pen is not a lost cause if something happens to the nib so the ink I have in here or dip tested with is Robert Oster and Desk Bandit the Great Owl and this extra fine nib feels very wet so let's do this test very wet I actually hate doing that on my finger <laughs> very wet and it's smooth Ooh, smooth with a touch of feedback. And you can hear that when I'm writing with it too. Gosh, I cannot write. And is there any reverse writing? Actually, this isn't too bad with reverse writing. Now, does it give any flex? Not really. And I wouldn't push that. So, not much flex but overall a very dependable Yovo extra fine nib and it's just absolutely beautiful I was like where's the cap and it's just absolutely beautiful this resin I cannot wait to ink this up next month so there is my new Estabrook SD in lilac and I've had, I say, a, a hard time purchasing pens this year. Not necessarily difficulty in purchasing, but the whole process of thinking about purchasing pens. I really wanna be more intentional with purchasing pens. And then when I do purchase, I thought, did I make the right decision? Should I be buying more pens? But really, I am so happy to be adding this to my collection because one, I didn't have a purple pen that looked like this. And two, I do love the Estabrook SD for me. It's comfortable. The Yovo nibs are reliable and they're just such beautiful pens. And I know I used to be the person who's like, I can't get the hype with Estabrook SDs. And I realize now, you know, I can see why a lot of people would feel that way is because they're so heavily featured in social media. But for me personally, the Estabrook SD is comfortable, beautiful, and it writes well. And those three things are important to me. Plus, in terms of the price point for a Steely Ovo nib, yes, it is a little high, but I 
I'm okay with investing that much into a, I guess, Yovo nib holder because I know that the Yovo nibs are interchangeable and I can get these ground. And if I want to have, you know, for example, my architect nib on this or the journaler nib on this, it's easy for me to switch them around. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. What do I normally say at this point? <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.